We stand here today, April 21st, 2014, as groups from Occupy Wall Street and individuals that are concerned about our democracy. We are concerned about justice. We are here today from a group in Occupy Wall Street entitled OccuEvolve, as well as Alternative Banking. And we are here to deliver the 2013 Public Eye Award to Goldman Sachs. This renowned dishonor that was voted on the world over by people from disparate nations to single out the most irresponsible institution in economics and finance was previously announced in Davos during the World Economic Forum. The time has come to deliver the, war, the award itself. Right here. This award was primarily earned by Goldman Sachs through its work in Greece, a commitment that we and the rest of the world believe should stand as an archetypical example of the work of Goldman Sachs around the world. This is, this is but one example of many we could have chosen to be sure. While the beginning of the new millennium, but with the, the beginning of the new millennium, Goldman Sachs helped Greece to hide a big part of its state debt as a technical device hidden from public view. That allowed Greece to get into the euro. So far, Goldman Sachs' profits from these transactions was at least $600 million, at least. And Greece owes the bank just a tidy sum of $400 million per year until the year 2037 for a total of more than $10 billion, entirely at the expense of ordinary Greeks this behavior was a major contributor to the events that have driven down the Greek economy. Most of the Greeks have lost their welfare, their social security system has been destroyed, and hunger and poverty are terrifying and widespread. An entire country is being robbed and enslaved into debt for the sake of extra profits for one corporation, Goldman Sachs, or as we call them, Goldman Sucks. We should also mention that on the evening that this award was announced in Davos, the head of Goldman Sachs gathered in a neighboring hotel to discuss their Greek fraud and robbing as having been perfectly legal. And this is technically true, but it is also at the center of the problem, namely because Goldman Sachs, I mean Goldman Sachs, takes part in writing those laws. The company is the opaque and the matchless network of allies in top positions. For example, the head of Goldman Sachs department, which invented the Greek robbery, Dario Draghi, is the current president of the European Central Bank. What a coincidence. Also, three constitution consecutive EU commissioners are former Goldman Sachs top-level employees. In the United States, we see the same progression. Robert Rubin, the U.S. Secretary of Treasury under Clinton, came from Goldman Sachs. Hank Paulson. The former Goldman Sachs CEO was also a U.S. Secretary, US Secretary of the Treasury during the largest bailout of the banking system the United States has ever seen, where he oversaw the transference of hundreds of billions of dollars of taxpayer dollars into the biggest banks on Wall Street, while regular Americans like you and me were losing their jobs and home at the highest rate since the 1930s. Because of all the above, we hereby formally hand this award to Goldman Sachs. This is the award for irresponsible behavior in finance and economics and why we still occupy Wall Street. But I will take the award uh, and we'll uh, This is to we'll Goldman sure Sachs, the Public Eye Jury Award. Uh, yeah. We need an economy. For all the people of our country, we need jobs for people. We need justice. We don't need profits and greed for profits and greed's sake. We need better communities and societies with sustainable jobs and careers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.